wake up. up, 718, see something, say something. I'm Bob Banner, and I'm back with another video. Uh, as always, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be the first to get these videos. Uh, so today I'm gonna speak on um, that whole Gucci situation. Uh, you know, they had that questionable line of uh, clothing that came out. And uh, there's a lot of boycotting going on. Uh, rightfully so, as y'all should. However, you know, I had to chime in and play the devil's advocate. Uh, this is not something new. I was talking to my mans about it the other day. This is not something new. Listen, all these high-end designers, been, they've been on this, on this wave. This is not something, and as I said, this is not something new. I remember when I was in high school, uh, this is going back some time, um, you know, there was an issue with uh, Hilfiger. Y'all was still rocking it. There was an issue with Polo. Y'all still rocking it. There was an issue with Timbaland. Y'all still rocking it. Uh, I mean, Granted, the the whole Gucci uh, that the thing that they dropped with the red lips or whatever, it's kind of blatant out the window with it. But uh, my thing is, how come it took Gucci for y'all to make a stand? Yeah, I wasn't making a stand when all these other clothing lines was like, yo, listen, we don't like black people wearing our, our brand. And y'all still was rocking with it. And how come when they had um companies like FUBU, For Us, By Us. It was in the name, B. <laughs> it was in the label. Y'all wasn't rocking with them like that. You know, he didn't like the he didn't like the look or whatever. And don't get me wrong, they didn't have the most fashionable looking uh, merchandise. But still, my thing is, you know, what it, it took it took what Gucci because they're they're popular they're pretty popular they're worldwide. I heard Montclair jumped on the wave with that questionable line as well. But how come as black folks y'all take so long to come around? And I, and and my only thing is how long is this gonna last? You know H and M did that whole monkey business that they came out with. But um, I see y'all right back in the stores, B. Y'all right back in. Shopping, dropping those dollars. And um, listen, I'm all with the boycotts, the sit-ins, the sit-downs. You know, I I'm all with it. I was never a big brand name kind of guy. But, uh, you know, I like what I like. I rock what I rock. But my whole thing is, um, this has been going on for years. And um, and it takes a brand like Gucci for y'all to start making some noise, which you know is kind of disheartening to me as a as a black fella. But um, you know, I I really just want to see how long is this gonna last. With everything, you know, people take a stand, and this is recently because we have a short attention span. And uh, an even short of memory of what people have done to us and what they continue to do to us. Um, I don't know. If we really dug deep and did our research on all of these brands, these notable brands, my nigga, we'd be out here half naked, B. <laughs> Not to say that that's a reason why we should keep supporting. Listen, like I said, I'm down with the whole let's not support them wave, but uh, history tends to repeat itself. And this will probably go on for a little while, in my opinion, you know. Please, I, I would love to be proven wrong. This will go on for a little while, and then um, I think uh, us as a people, we're gonna be right back on the wave. They're gonna drop something or do a collaboration with some notable black person. And, 
we're gonna forget all about this. And we're gonna just continue to spend those dollars in the stores and, and get right back on it. Mayweather, I don't know what to say to you, brother. <laughs> I mean, I get it, you got brand. Um, there was this uh, Muslim guy, forgive me, I don't, I don't remember his name. But he was on the Nick Cannon, um, he was on that Nick Cannon um, podcast. I, I've, I've seen him prior to that, you know, and I, and I like the way that he gives knowledge and he was kind of breaking down how what Mayweather dropped and Gucci that day could have done for us as a community. It was, it was, it was a very, it was mind blowing and it was, it was straight facts. So I applaud that man. Please drop in the comments if you know this brother's name. I wanted to give him his just due. But um, like I said, this has been going on for, for years, for years. And um, we got a short, we got a short, uh, we got short memories, man. People have been hating on us for a while as far as, you know, this clothing line is not for you, da 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 da. But yet we're spending the most capital on these uh, these labels and these brands. I don't want to blame it on anyone because, you know, people, they're going to do what they do, but I have to say something about it. You know what I'm saying? This is Speak Up, of course. So. Speak Up, see something, say something. I'm Bob Banner. As always, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I don't know, man. Let's see how long this lasts. I'm giving it two months tops. And even for me, that, that's a stretch. I don't think it's gonna last that long. You know what I'm saying? But say less, hit that notification bell, I'll be back with another video. Peace. And uh, support, support who you need to support. What?